Next example, let's verify that the tangent squared of x is equal to 1 minus sine squared of x cosecant squared of x plus the sine squared of x all over the cosine squared of x. So we're going to start by putting a little line down the middle. So we've got to make sure we don't cross that line. And then I'm going to choose a side to work with. This time, the right-hand side looks like it's the most complex. So I'm going to try to simplify that as best I can. So to start with, I see that we have the sine squared of x and the cosecant squared of x. Well, I know there's a relationship between sine and cosecant. Uh, cosecant is a reciprocal of sine. So I'm going to use one of those basic identities, the reciprocal identity. And I'm going to rewrite this as 1 sine squared of x times 1 over the sine squared of x plus the sine squared of x. And of course, all of this is over our cosine squared of x. Now, I can simplify that fraction. This sine squared of x will cancel out with that sine squared of x that's in the denominator. And we end up with 1 minus 1 plus the sine squared of x all over the cosine squared of x. Well, 1 minus 1 is 0, so I'm left with just sine squared of x over the cosine squared of x. And going back to our basic identities, I know that sine divided by cosine is tangent, and so we can, and so we can write this as the tangent squared of x. And we have verified the identity. So let's do the recap. So the first thing we did was use our reciprocal identity and change cosecant squared into 1 over the sine squared. Then we simplified the fraction. We were able to divide out both the sine squared of x. And then we subtracted the 1 minus 1 to get 0. And that left us with sine squared over cosine squared, which we used our basic identities and changed that to tangent squared of x.